All right, knuckljunkies.com here with Jake the Hitman Heck, UFC welterweight. Jake's got a big fight coming up, uh, UFC on FX, June 8th down in Florida. Uh, it's got to be an exciting time of your life. Just kind of give us a state of the union. Uh, yeah, I got another fight coming up, uh, UFC on FX, June 8th, against Sean Pearson, uh, wrestler out of Canada. Um, he's had some big fights in the UFC, and uh, he's got another big one with me. So it uh, should be a good time. Really looking forward to it. Now, Sean's, uh, he's got two losses in a row, you know, so you know he's going to kind of come in highly motivated. Just uh, what are your thoughts on that? The great thing about that is I'm coming in highly motivated too. You know, uh, I'm coming in there uh, looking for that knockout early, looking to put him on his ass and, uh, you know, come out strong, come out with fireworks and, and really make a show. So uh, should be a good fight. I know he's coming out strong. I'm coming out strong. So should make for a good first round at least. Another neat thing, at least locally, uh, about this card is uh, not, not only yourself, but fellow fellow St. Louis and uh, Lance Benoist is on, on the card. I mean, it's, it's got kind of be a neat thing. I know you, you, you and Lance train together and know each other a little bit. Kind of talk about that. Yeah, Lance and I have been training together a lot for this next fight. Uh, Sean Pearson's a southpaw and Lance also happens to be a southpaw. So we've been giving each other good looks and uh, getting some good training together at all the local gyms around here. We've been at, at Watson uh, MMA. We've been at Rodrigo Vaghi. We've been at uh, Mike Rogers' place at St. Charles MMA. We've been over at Tyron Woodley's place at uh, ATT Evo. So we've been bouncing all around the place. And not to mention, I've been spending a lot of my time out in Springfield, Illinois, with uh, my head coach, Mark Fiore. So we've been moving all over and, you know, training everywhere and getting good looks everywhere. How do you think you've uh, evolved or improved since your last time out? Um, I mean, evolved really in all areas. Uh, striking's definitely got a lot better. Wrestling defense has gotten a lot better. Um, Jiu-jitsu offense has gotten a lot better. So, uh, you know, really getting better by leaps and bounds before, after, after, before and after every fight. So, you know, growing every time that I come out. So. As you know, like everybody in the UFC brings up brings a lot to the table. Is, is there just anything that uh, Sean you know happens to bring in, in to bring bring to the works or that you have to work on? I mean, his mo is a wrestler. Uh, even though I haven't seen much wrestling out of him, he's a national champion uh, Greco guy. So I expect him to come in and tie up upper body. So we've been working a lot of wrestling defense. We're working a lot of Greco defense and working a lot of counter striking uh, off that. At the same token, we've been working a lot off of off our back jiu-jitsu offense, uh, standing back up, and uh, really powerful, strong shots to test that weak chin of his out. So, uh, yeah, we, I mean, we've been working everything, preparing for him, and uh, you know, it's it's going to be a good, exciting fight. So, now you've, you've you've spent a lot of time in some different countries. I know you've been in Jordan and, and Ireland and England. Just kind of kind of touch on on how and why you got you've been at those different places. Uh, the organization Cage Warriors gave me an opportunity to do a lot of traveling, took me to Ireland, fought over in Cork, Ireland, fought in Amman, Jordan in front of the royal family over there, got to fight in London, uh, last fight UFC took me to Australia, uh, fought in Canada the fight before that, so this is actually the first time I'm fighting in the United States in over a year and a half, so uh, happy to be back in the States, happy that I don't have to be on a 17-hour flight before a fight, so um, yeah, I mean, I'm excited. It's, it's been great traveling around the world, and it'll be nice to come back and finally fight back in the U.S. after about a year and a half. I mean, that's, that is some pretty exciting stuff from you know a guy from Troy, Missouri. You know, who'd think that he would, uh, you know, like I said, bouncing around like you have. I mean, like I've said ever since I first got the call talking about my first UFC fight, this has been like a dream come true, and I'm just trying to ride the wave and and stay in it as long as I can, and and just. That's what I think about every day when I'm training, just stay in this, keep winning fights, stay in the UFC, keep living the dream, you know? KnuckleJunkies.com